Hi, Coach. Overall thoughts on tonight's game? Well, just a, a great atmosphere and uh, just really proud and happy for our seniors. Uh, you know, they've done a, a great job for this team. Uh, really have taken the program to new heights. And, and we just can't thank them enough for what they've done. And a uh, big win for us. Uh, you know, Northern is, has a lot to play for, and they played hard. And uh, we were ready to go right from the get-go. And uh, some pucks found the way in the net for us. And, and I thought Jamie Phillips did a real nice job. But like I said, overall, just uh, extremely proud and happy for our seniors. How important was it to come out and get that start that you had tonight? That well, was very important. You know, after a weekend, uh, last weekend in Minnesota State, we did not play very well. And, uh, you know, it's it extremely important for us to establish uh, our game tonight against Northern. And I thought we did that in the first period, even though, you know, things maybe didn't go in. We had some great chances. I thought their goalie, Dolan, was, was outstanding tonight. And, you know, in my opinion, he's the first star. But we needed a good start, and we got it. Did you get a sense that maybe if that continued that you guys might not be able to score at all? Because it seemed like he was making saves even on his butt. I mean, he just, everything he could get his hands on. No, he was fantastic. I mean, we never felt comfortable, or I didn't as a coach really, maybe until we got the fifth goal. I mean, he was playing so well and really kept them in the game. And, you know, they had a couple chances there, too, that we got lucky on. But uh, no question, we, we, you know, when you go through your, your lineup and, and you can't find too many guys who didn't have a bad game, you find a lot of guys who played extremely well. Here's a guy like Jimmy Davis, hasn't played a game all year, and I thought came in and had an outstanding game. So I'm uh, real happy, like I said, proud of our team. Yeah, certainly uh, you, you put Jimmy in to start the game. He gets an assist on the first goal. I mean, you can't ask for anything more out of, out of a guy like that, can you? Well, it's a tough situation. Here, here's a big game. You know, we're, we're trying to improve our, our rating for the, you know, the national tournament to get into it. And, uh, you know, we're trying to stay in contention for first place. Uh, we're trying to bounce back off a real tough weekend. And, and we throw Jimmy Davis into a situation like that. But it goes to show you the type of person he is and the type of character he has. And for him to get thrown in a situation like that, he's kept himself ready all year. And I, I can't say enough about the young man. I'd hire, hire him in a heartbeat. I mean, that's the type of person he is. Is the secret to uh, bouncing back at home, getting a, a guy who hasn't played all year and throwing him in there and having him get an assist in his first game? Well, I, I don't know about that, we, but we needed a better weekend. We needed a bounce-back weekend, and I, th I thought last weekend was a real wake-up call for us. You know, just the intensity that we needed to play for. Uh, you know, it was a tough building to play on the road, so uh, we got another challenge tomorrow. We're going to go into a you know a tough building, and you know they're a proud team, and, and Walt will have that team ready tomorrow. So we're going to have to respond and be ready to go. You get two goals from Tyler, two goals from Blake. Talk about uh, both of them, because Tyler had you know he missed significant time with injury. And, Blake's been, been up and down, but he's scoring for you of late, uh, some big goals. Well, I, I thought, you know, that third goal, especially that Tyler scored, you know, it was a tight game, 2-1 still, and uh, Malcolm Gould made a great play, but Hayden had made a great shot on Doan. I mean, we, we needed that goal because, you know, he was keeping him in there, so that was a big goal. But, uh, you know, Blake's, Blake's one of the best players in our league, Blake Pietro, you know, and uh, he's sacrificed some things this year and played much better defensively, and so good on face-offs, and so it's nice to see him score. I didn't think he scored on his best chances tonight. You know, he had a couple of real good chances, but like I said, we're going to need those guys going forward, and uh, I thought we got a real good effort from a lot of different people tonight, whether they scored or didn't. How do you temper the excitement and emotion of tonight, considering you have to turn around and play the same team tomorrow? Yeah, we, you know, we've done that all year. Uh, that's what I like about this team is we've been consistent, whether we've won or lost. Uh, they've showed up the next night and played hard. So we don't get too high when we win and, and too low when we lose. And I really contribute that to the senior leadership we have. They've done a great job keeping this team in check all year. So we'll be ready to play tomorrow. This is the first group of seniors you've had for four years. Talk about what this group has done. I mean, they've accomplished so much in their four years, haven't they? Well, they really have. You know, whether it's the GLI championship or winning a, you know, a playoff series and getting to a final five. I mean, they, they've accomplished a lot of things that... Uh, maybe haven't uh, we haven't done in a, in a while uh, home ice in the playoffs you know we, we're looking forward to that coming up and we haven't done that since 92 93 and uh, you've heard me say before we always measure our seniors in, in a few different ways but one of the most important ways is if you left this program in better shape than when you found it and they certainly have and I can't give them enough credit and thank them enough for that certainly uh, with the way Bemidji's playing tonight tomorrow could be for the McNaughton Cup does that even sink in right now, or are you still just focused on we've got a game to win tomorrow night? We have a game to win tomorrow night, and that's the way it's been you know, pretty well all season. And you know, so be it. It's out of our control, and we just have to make sure we're ready to play and do our job. And then you know, things will, 
chips will fall where they may. But uh, it's good to be in contention. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been in contention or been in the, the talk for league championships. So, again, I take my hat off to the seniors. They've done a fabulous job.